Hello everybody, Lucas here, back with another video. And today we're back with some more Lego Toy Story action. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Toy Story 4 Buzz and Bo Peep's Playground Adventure, which I'm going to start off with smallest to biggest. So this is the second, sm this is like the third or second smallest set, small sets for the NRC, which I just reviewed, which has three minifigures. Um, Buzz, Bo Peep, and Gabby Gabby. So, for those who have seen the Toy Story 4 sets and who've got the Toy Story 4 sets, or have seen the Toy Story 4 set reviews, um, you know that the Buzz Lightyear of this set has very terrible printing. Um, the only thing that has bad printing is actually really the head. The rest of the figure is really cool, the way it attaches. This is my very first Lego Buzz, so... Please bear with me as I will take my time to take a look at these figures since, man, these Lego sets are really cool. You can see this little cockpit uh, hood piece has these little pegs in here which they just go in simply into that hood. And they do have these detachable wings right there which you can take apart. I don't want to take it apart, it's kind of a bit hard. Um, it does have the Star Command logo up front and has that torso piece. That torso printing, that's actually the torso printing. It's already out of the chest plate, so that's torso printing. And this is pretty similar to the ones from Disney Series 1, and I'm glad LEGO tried to copy the one from Disney Series 1 as good as possible so that the printing will be really that good. Of course, they didn't have side arm printing or side leg printing because for those that have side arm printing and leg printing are all from Lego minifigures from China, specifically the Lego minifigure series ones and a couple Ninjago minifigures and other other figure, a couple other figures that have a lot of detail um, were made from China, like for example Spider-Man. They never made the Spider-Man minifigure series, but they still have them as a kind of it came from a minifigure series, but it didn't because it was produced in China. It has a lot of details, so the ones with a lot more details come from the China um, the China company area where they make these Lego minifigures but for the ones that don't have the side arm printing or leg printing or that that much in detail um, they're just from that normal Lego company because usually China makes more detailed minifigures and a cheaper price so that's it for Buzz Lightyear sorry if it took a bit too long so here is Gabby Gabby and yes this is a peach skin minifigure and yes, it may seem like it does. It isn't a toy, but it actually is because there is a pull string. But that's the only way you could determine it was a toy besides you watching the Toy Story movies. Because this minifigure looks a, a lot like a human, um, but there isn't really one way to interpret it as a normal toy because it just gets even more confusing. Because once you look at the entire set itself, it seems like there it actually isn't to scale for the little minifigures because the only minifigures in here are the toys <clears throat> so it may seem like Gabby Gabby is just a normal human but yes she is a toy so the final minifigure is Bo Peep which sadly she doesn't have Billy Goat and Gruff for those who saw the Toy Story 4 movie and you can see her staff is blue this time so I don't know why but in Toy Story 4 Bo Peep was now blue instead of pink which is kind of weird I don't know what's going on there. I mean, it does have some changes in the uniform, of course, but like for example, this little staff right here, supposed, supposedly is pink, I don't know. It's just kind of weird, like why would she just change her staff? Like, did she steal it from another Bo Peep? And you can see these capes actually are just one neck hole attachment. As you can see, it's kind of like the Disney, Disney minifigure series 2 series. And also, I just bought a box of Disney Series 2, so I'm about to open it, so you can see some other back printing on there. And you may think that this is a human, but it is actually a toy, of course, but uh, she does have some a new hairpiece, which they never really made a Bo Peep minifigure before. They only made like two of her, but this variant is exclusive to it, and really the only variant of Bo Peep, actually. Sorry if the minifigure close-up took a bit too long, but here's the builds, which is this little playground. There's this little merry-go-round and the skunk vehicle off to the side. So I'll first start off with the side builds. So for this one, it is just this little merry-go-round right here, which just spins around on a turntable. 
and it does spin quite fast so you got to be careful but when you spin you, you you have to make sure that you don't push it because if you push it um, this little bar piece would just come fly off so because yes these studs are a bit loose but you can see this little feature right there you have some space it sits at least four minifigures so kind of wish you include Woody there but yeah Woody is in a lot of Toy Story sets so it's fine not to include him there also is this little skunk vehicle which uses a little fez cap right there specialized piece up at front this little tail piece which just uses this little leaf piece in black which you can just move it around there's some space to put bow peep and maybe even buzz on this side to sit them or maybe you can just stand them either way either way you want and yes this does use a specialized piece at the bottom as you can see that's it for the skunk vehicle now let's take a look at the main belt itself the playground so first we'll take a look at the front and you can see this little ladder which is supposed to represent like um like a monkey bars but you can also pull it apart to take apart the playground but yes you don't i don't really want to do that and also you get these leaf pieces you can actually pull them apart and then you can put the skunk vehicle inside like i, I thought it might be a pretty cool play feature to include where you can push this back and it'll just pop out of the leaves kind of like what it did in Toy Story 4, so I think that's what they were trying to emulate. But starting off here, there's a little play area down there, so but nothing too much. It does use a specialized junior's piece. has this little fence right there and another plate right here. And then this specialized slide, which may seem kind of like a Duplo thing to you, but these are actually three of the 4x4 four four bricks, 4x2 four, uh, four bricks. And these slide pieces, all you got to do is there's a curved one and a straight one, so you can, like, make Gabby Gabby turn around so maybe you can just put her on there and then she'll slide and there you go that actually works like a really well thing you gotta make sure the minifigure doesn't have a bald piece like for, for example like I don't know like if you want to put spider-man there don't put it down on this because the printing will get scratched off at the back of the head if it doesn't have like a hair piece to cover it up and yes this skunk vehicle that is inside here actually can might be able is actually part of a play feature so you can like pull them out but also these little leaves are in technicians right here which yes yeah, so you can do that to, like play around it's very fun to play with on this little next side they use these little hulk buster pieces is what i call them you can pull it down and bow peep speaking through and then you can see there is nothing really too much that there there's this little i guess um, like a mini rock wall, rock climbing, whatever the heck it's called, thingy. And then that's it for the front. Now let's look at the back. So starting here on this side, we do have a little frying pan, a window where you can push open and you can see Bo Peep peeking through once again. And yes, that front little piece that you see is actually um, a print, which is a specialized print right there. And that is also a specialized mold to push out the windows as well. So that's pretty cool, but let's take a look at the back again. So here inside is a little cubby, which you can actually take out because it is in a, a little jumper right there, and then there's a little side right there. Once you take it out, there's a little toy frying pan, and inside you have some omelets or eggs, whatever you want to call it. You get two of those. You can put one on the frying pan, but I don't want to because I don't want those pieces to get lost or anything. And there isn't really too much else inside. Wow, there's a little gap right there. You do use these specialized rooftop pieces, as you can see. And on the back side of this, of the left side, it doesn't really have too much. Like I said, there is a fence and a little bit of play space to stand or sit your main figures in, as well as this side right here. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you want to see more LEGO Toy Story videos, leave me a comment down below. Sorry if this took a little bit too long. It took a bit too long on the minifigure close-up already. So I'll try to my best to be a lot much, much more, 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 more quicker. But that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. Like I said earlier, wow, I just repeated the words. Oh. And then don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.